Hey guys, we're back with our Rome Total War 2 campaign, uh, Wrath of Sparta DLC campaign. And, um... What did we do last time? We, we uh, got rid of the boat and league. We just have to deal with this little force down here next turn because... Probably not this army. I don't want to lose this cavalry. Do we get better cavalry later on? Because those ones kind of suck. Um, we're moving this army up. You can just do that so you move faster. Uh, we expanded the number of navies we have. We're now up to eight fleets. We still got to increase the number of armies we have, but now we're all spread around the Aegean. We can respond to different events. Um, so before attacking Corinthus here, before I hit the next turn button here and move on, we're going to take out the uh, cities over here. Uh, make some client states out of them, I think. So that we can get some uh, cash out of the whole deal. Maybe take the port, but uh, turn this into a client state if I can. If not, I'll just take it. Uh, we're still at war with Epirus here, though. So, after beating up the Corinthians, we might bring our three fleets up here and uh, take this. Turning you into a client state would be fantastic. Lots of trade out of there. Um, in fact, I think that'll be the plan. We still got to deal with this army raiding over here. But, oh, someone's got perks. Right. The general gets another little perks. Rally and inspire. Are you of our family? Because if so, I want to increase the number of gravity you have to get more power for our side. Proclaimed heirs. Uh, we just gave you a fleet, I believe. Other nobles. Oh, what did I do? Uh, I don't know what happened. How do I see my own people? This is getting confusing. Uh, sure. At your command. I went in here to just do a simple thing and I got completely confused. Um, let's give you a master tactician. And, um, oh right, might have been dealing with this. But you're training extra troops, so you're not moving anywhere right now. Eh, fair enough. That guy being a pain in the butt again. That army moving out. Right. They're going to attack us. Are they getting reinforced by land? Or by sea, I mean? I'm worried if I fight this, I'm going to mess it all up. It gives us such a high chance of success. 
Nah, I'm just gonna auto resolve it. So we'll definitely deal with that army over there after this. Again, they're coming at us, but if we can defeat this last army, the Boshan League should be gone. Right, we also have to add a whole bunch of agents. I do not like how that one fleet is just sailing up right next to us. Subdiffusion, Delphi. Oh, somewhere got slums. Had to go back and check on that. Uh, right, we got rid of the military uh, building over here and then forgot to put a new building in there. All our economics buildings ended, although we're losing a bunch of money because it's winter. And uh, your farms don't mu make very much winter or money during winter. And we added a whole bunch of um, uh, ships to the uh, fleet. Ready for battle. Ah! 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 And honor! Make haste, men. Ready for orders. We hunger for battle. Um, army retreats. Let's start with this. Bear down on them. Moving out. Oh, it's not going to end well for you, guy. Fleet. Destroy them. And uh, the Admiral gained some skills. Uh, campaign movement range. And you're able to return to port there. Perfect. Um... We do actually have tons of money to throw around. Yes. I do not like how close you are. With that in mind. Recruiting more ships. We can expand that navy there. We also need to expand the economy so that we don't sink ourselves into the ground here. Uh, shrine there. It's a good idea. Uh, no, I meant the provinces. Yuboia. What you got for me? Uh. Yeah, that's good. We already have a market there, so not likely to build another one of those. Um, yeah, some higher skilled buildings over there or for more well trained troops. This is a market settlement, this is a filling settlement. We'll make Delphi a farming settlement. Helps secure them as well with uh, less chance of them rebelling. With that in mind, let's deal with this boat and army. Destroy them. Just auto resolve. Uh, 
Is that all? At your command. Um, no, that'll do. You're gonna move back to Delphi. You're moving on to deal with this army over here. Uh, let's get you storage pits over here for army replenishment. Oh, it's swamp lens. I was wondering what that was. You're still building your fleet. You're still sitting there waiting for this to finish up. We now have the plan to deal with Epirus with our navies. Send both of them up there. Should be enough to take out this uh, little there and turn them into a client state. If no one else gets to them first. Enemy fleet withdraws. I think we're good. Time to move on to the next steps or next turn. I was gonna say next episode, that's not right. Alright, you moved into there. Oh, I should have turned you back to normal stance. Corinth is continuing to do some subdiffuse here. I need to get more agents out. There's a navy of Sparta somewhere up north there. Northwest it looked about. Um, is Rhodes at war with someone? Incited unrest. Bribed units. We hunger for battle. You are moving this way. At once. You are moving that way. We added a whole bunch more navies and now. Peace stream between Argus and Elias. Um, yeah, we're going to need to spend a whole lot of money on a, the economy here this time. Just gotten ourselves in a little bit of trouble. Commander. Normal stance, if you would. Authority is skewed. What does the fountain do? From entertainment. Not super worried about you, though. Most of these are just one cities or one town that we own in these areas. Um, seventy five percent growth, wealth from all sources. Yeah, you've been an integral part of our uh, nation for a while, so might as well. Um, yeah, everywhere else is pretty much good. Yeah, I do need to check out things. Uh, where's Rhodes? Elias, Sparta, Krinthus. At war with no one and doesn't want to be at war with anyone. Hmm. 
We might have to launch an invasion of you. Make a whole bunch more client states. For now, we're going to focus on Oedipus to the north there. After I deal with this army. In fact, you're pretty well secured at this point. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to have you come out this way. Do I want to risk it? The idea is that if he comes out here, he won't be able to reach this in one turn. I think that's probably true. Steady as we go. Ready for and then we'll be moving this navy down here to secure that next turn. Uh, any other navies? You're pretty much done. I'm going to have you move up there to secure that. And you are going to stay right over there. Along with uh, that army there. Yeah. Inside the city is a much safer place. So I think we're good. Let's see what they do. Again, they go and bribe people. Oh, he finally gets killed. Your luck can't last forever. You aren't likely to succeed inside a um, city like that, though. Oh, there's that Spartan Navy that we were worried about. I gotta find them next time here before... They really cause some trouble. You are wise enough not to sit idly upon the bank, but to take the fish as it swims by. No, we're good. I may have to uh, prize some territory from your hands. I don't want to break any treaties. Oh, he was only wounded. And another one was wounded. That was done. Encourage populace. Oh, right. Uh, isn't there that one place that we needed to add a... Um... Yes, right here. Uh, this whole area doesn't have a market yet. So we'll put another gathering place in this one. Before that turned into a slum. Uh, right, before I do anything else, where is that Spartan fleet? It is an actual fleet, too. Oh, and look at this. Yes. You decide to come out and play. I can't leave both of them. I don't think I'll be able to beat you. Let's first move you down here. So we got three fleets down here. You're probably just going to jump back on land, but you, we are going to deal with you. This fleet down here is adding more ships to it. Again, that's going to hurt our economy, so we're going to need more to offset that. Um, 
Oh, right, you expanded over here. Um, yeah. Uh, and we wanted what down here? Yeah, you can get a trader. Alright, there we go. So we got all our money spent, some in the economy. Right, we haven't moved our armies around, actually. And you decided to run back over there. Although, at this point, your army is so small, I don't think you could even mount an attack over here. Plus, the uh, Rhodes is coming to deal with you. So, I guess the only thing left for you to do is head out on over here. We'll be moving you out, too, at some point. But for now, just hold tight in Delphi. We still have to deal with that Spartan fleet, then we can head north. All right. What is this showing me? Do I earn a portion of my Oh no, these are the trade, oh, okay, I see. Which again, just reinforces why I need more client states. Uh, someone got an upgrade. You over here. Any mercenaries? Nothing for like movement speed or anything. Experience rank of new generals. There. Get a little bit more money out of it. Um. Yep, you stay up there just to secure that area. And I guess we'll go to the next turn. And immediately they decide to send in a whole bunch of forces trying to take that area from me. I can just move the army from Delphi over there. That army retreats, that army goes on land. You are wise enough not to sit I Nope, I don't want it. do anything more with like our government or anything
Okay, so our best leader is us, our best general. Secure promotion. I think I used all my money to do that too. Maybe not the greatest plan, but... I'm just going to stick you over here. I don't have any money to put into your fleet, but just something so there's a commander over there. And in the meantime, both these fleets are going to head north. To deal with Epirus. Uh, construction report. Ship right. So this is the guy that we secured a promotion for. I should probably have been doing that this whole time, but um, I don't think there's much going to happen this turn. Uh, you get an upgrade. Yes, full rank on training our troops. Also, this army is going to get increased here soon when it encamps over here. Oh wait, you can encamp and recruit troops at the same time. Might bring them closer to Athens here before we do that. We'll see what happens. Um, let's see what happens. It's probably the last turn of this uh, episode. Our joint enemies would tremble if we were your allies. No. Why are you so worried? Raid the sediment or trade route. Oh, we failed a mission. Alliance formed between Corinthus. Population expands. Up here. Let's add some farming. Whole bunch of skills for our generals. Let's secure some more promotions and also increase the loyalty. Um, it is an honor to serve. All hands to the oars, ready for orders. Moving out. I could do fast row, but I'm worried about who might be around here. Here, here in uh, hiding around in the fog. There's the timer, so we're going to end the ending of this episode here in a second. Um, what are you? 
your army. If I were, say, to... Secure that, secure that, and secure that, so I can expand these armies at a later date. I gotta work on the economy here first. Put you to normal stance. Uh, that'll be it for today. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, make sure to leave me a comment, or subscribe, or like the video. Until next time, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.